Let's talk about Punit squares for a minute. You're going to have in this problem, which of the following would be the correct Punit square for a cross between a purebred male, red rose, and a hybrid female, red rose. Now your purebred male red rose is gonna be represented by the dominance of R, R. The, uh, the hybrid female red rose is going to be dominated, uh, is dominant over yellow. So we're going to have R, R, right? So we're gonna put male on the top, I'm sorry, female on the top and male on the side. That's the trip, that's the, that's the correct way to do this. So we're gonna see here, we've got the correct RR female on the top and the male RR on the side, capital R, capital R, and for the male on the side, the left side, and capital R, lowercase r for the female uh, as well. Now, let's look and see how this Punit square is supposed to function uh, within this realm. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, use a little bit of, uh, of colors, et cetera, to help explain this and show you how this works. Now, this grid is very simple. You've got for this displaying the female, I'm sorry, for displaying the male heredity over here on the side, you've got one R and one R in each of the left side squares. And then over here for the female, <clears throat> we've got the capital R and the lowercase r on the top. Individual, just one letter, one letter. You see it? Only one letter on the sides there. And that's how that's supposed to look. That's how that's supposed to work. So let's talk about how do we come up with the letters in this square? It's a very simple matching process. So for here, I'm gonna go this down to here. It's almost like if you're working in math, you get a little bit of a, a times table, right? If you were doing a times table in math, you might have one, two, three, four, five up top. And then on the side, you might have one, two, three, four, five, right? And then you can kind of just figure out and match where they go. We got, uh, you know, we got a, 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 a one, a one, two, three, four, five. And then over here, we're counting by twos, right? Uh, we're gonna count, uh, let's draw a line here to distinguish where we're at, sorry. We've got two, four, six, eight, ten. right? We could go on and so forth so we can count by threes, three, six, nine, et cetera, so on and so forth. But basically, if I need to find an answer in this case, I'm going to take this three times two, I'll go three down to two, right? And where they join here, that's going to be my answer. So my answer of three times two is six. So in that way, we're kind of connected. All right, so let's look at this now. So we're going to find out each of these boxes are filled by doing that same exact process. So R, R, capital R, lowercase r. Makes sense, right? How about here? Lowercase r, capital R. You see how they match? This connects them. The vertex at this angle is like connecting them, right? Let me get a different color so we can distinguish a little bit here. All right. Uh, how about here? Capital R down to here is another capital R. So therefore, these two uh, R's combine here. And then the same is true with this one, R, R, right? So that's how you determine how that's supposed to work. So the most important things for you to remember are it's a graph that the female is on the top here, right? You put the, gen the, the, the phenotype, the genotype for the female on the top, and then the male on the side, the left side. You put that there, and then you can correct these. So that's why this is the correct answer uh, for this question. Ta-da! <laughs> See? And that is exactly how a punit square works. All right, I hope that helped you.